So, uh, there we are. I'm actually heading in town by uh, Mark's house. That's the gentleman with uh, the 55 New Yorker luck. And I um, gave him a call. We, uh, when I stopped by yesterday, we exchanged some emails. I told him about forward look. And I, um, I asked if I could come back and we could shoot. Well, I don't see it. I wonder if he actually took it to, to church this morning. He said I was supposed to meet him after church. Well, that would be well, that would be totally cool if he had it out. We'll have to see. Let me uh, swing around and pull it in front of his house. And well, here we are for Mark's house. I got an email from him this morning. And he said, uh, in, in response to a contact I made with him yesterday when I was here, a little interview on the cell phone like I normally do, and I got home and doggone it if I didn't delete the whole thing. So I emailed him and asked if we could get back together again and kind of reshoot it just to be able to put it on YouTube and to post it on the Forward Looks site so all you guys get a chance to meet Mark, see the car, hear a little bit about the history of the story. It's actually a fascinating story. I think you guys are all going to enjoy it. And it's a nice looking car. It really is. So, I'm here waiting. I believe he should be showing up soon. He said that he'd be at a church and back home about this time. Well, if that isn't nutty enough, I just got a phone call from Mark who is actually at my house. <laughs> and he stopped by after church there instead of coming here. <laughs> He's on his way. He should be here in about 10 minutes, so um, this is all going to come together just fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. I'm going to turn this around and get a look. Yeah. Nice looking car. Oh, he's got the cowl up, too. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm just glad we got together. Well, she didn't put me in shame, I'm sure. Oh, no, not at all. How's it running today? Great. Running great. Running just fine. Guys, this is the Mark I've been telling you about. Mark, go ahead and introduce yourself to the guys. Yeah, hey, Mark Reinhardt. Uh, met Bart yesterday. Uh, he happened to notice the, the 55 here. Um, it is a girl. Her name's Beula, as given to my grandfather. Grandfather passed away a couple of years ago, and uh, Grandpa Bob, and uh, uh, I did inherit Beula. Uh, I grew up in Beula. He bought it in 1976. Okay. Um, I'm going to get both you guys in the shot here while you're talking about her. As far as I know, I believe he's the second owner of the car uh, when he did buy it in 76 in uh, Monroe. Uh, it's been uh, in his home Monroe for the last, uh, well, since 76. So I just came down to Oconomowoc here. Uh, last weekend, and uh, uh, I'll keep it down here now. But uh, yeah, it's an originally original uh, '55 uh, New Yorker Deluxe. Um, it's got the original 331 Hemi in it, and uh, it's a great car. Runs great. It's a good driver. Um, a lot of memories in this car with parades and such. Can you show us a little bit on it, or I sure can. Yeah. Um, as you can see, you know, back then a lot of chrome. Um, uh, got the factory uh, air conditioning, which doesn't work anymore, but it's got the factory air kit on it. Well, let's take a peek inside then. Sure. Go ahead. Sure. I'll go right. I'll get right over your shoulder and fine. you go right ahead. Oh. oh. Factory air. Bridge King. King. Yep. Air conditioning. Um, you know, automatic uh, transmission. That's cool. It's got the. Uh, I'm to get a little closer here. Sure. Absolutely. Get a look see. This is eye candy for these guys. Yeah. <laughs> I see it's got power windows too. Yes. Yep. Power windows, of course Clock. power brakes. Power brakes too, huh? Yep. Power brakes, power um, um steering of course. Okay. And uh shot of the back, see here. Sure. 
and you can see it's been recarpeted. I'm not sure when. Oh, look at the handles. Yeah. That's cool. Get in and out. Flip the armrest down there in the middle. Oh, it does have an armrest, yeah. too. Wow. Gotcha. This was a deluxe model. Yeah. But, uh, Very cool. Again, Very. I'll, I'll spend a lot of time as a boy. Uh, of course, I was born in 70, so <laughs> since I was six, I remember, you know, tooling around southern Wisconsin and this. And, and uh, my grandfather loved three things, his family and uh, golfing. No and golfing. this car. <laughs> Uh, very good man. Um, he shined this thing up, uh, waxed it all the time. Um, it's got beautiful lines to it. Yeah, it really does. Beautiful, beautiful car. Big uh, trunk too, huh? Very close. Uh, oh, hang on. Do yeah, your we stick got a, here. <laughs> we got a. We're doing a quick video here, but uh, yeah, it's the uh, same era as the New York. Uh, it's actually a New Yorker. Oh. Um, 1955 New Yorker. Um, very similar to the 300. Um, it has the uh, V8 in it, or yeah, it's got the it's a 331 V8. Um, I know the 300 is fitted to the 331. Say what it is. What it, it's uh oh, it's a it's racer a, firepower. It's a Hemi. It's a Hemi. Yeah, 331 Hemi. Like one of the first Hemis. Why don't we show you the show you the engine? Okay. Um, yeah, car that he raced. Yeah, this is uh, you know, just original four barrel. I know the 300s did uh, uh, dual four barrels on it. Um, yeah, there's the the VIN code tag or the uh, the build tag. Yeah. Guys, you can probably tell me uh, stuff about that. I've been trying to do some research just on. Uh, it's build code, I see model number 45, paint uh, code is 17, and trim is... Uh, we have guys that are very good about yeah, coding these numbers. Trim 37 package, so okay. that might be. But, Between but, yeah. this group, the Chrysler 300, and the Imperial guys, they're really good at uh, decoding fender tags and broadcast sheets. And yeah. yeah, absolutely. Are you interested in old Chryslers, or...? Uh, Charger. Okay. And, uh, got the opera windows on it? Uh, no. Okay. We were trying to basically uh, get a bit more out of it. Sure. Uh, he's trying to make them like a 73 Super V. They didn't make them then, but he's trying to uh, right. uh, make them up to it. You know what? But you know what? I have a 1971 Super V hood sticker for a 71 Super V charge. Really? At my house. Yeah. So I used to own one. <laughs> yep. There you go. So. We'll have to hook up. Okay. Oh, yeah, we weren't sure this was uh, it's, monotone or... No, I can't tell from the... And hopefully the guys can help me on the paint code. As far as I can tell, I think here is original paint. This uh, is original. It's, it's, it's definitely original, because if you look at all okay. the nooks and crannies, you see this, this dark gray. It's okay. almost a, a, a gray metallic. Yeah. Doing my search on the, the paint code of 17, yeah. the best I can tell it was a, a embassy gray metallic or okay. something was what I believed, you know, whether it was a DuPont or a, um, I don't remember the Metzler or whatever the other manufacturer of paint was at the time. Sure. Because this color is Sweet. Guys, I, I know this is getting long, but I wanted to, to say hi to Mark, and, okay. and hopefully it'll be a, a good way for us all to hook up. Our Wisconsin region's growing all the time, Yep. and uh, I can see that these cars are going to be parked side by side sometime at the Kilty. <laughs> and... Exactly. Uh, We'll get Safety Mike involved here and a few other guys and get together a little more often. Want to want to kick this off and say goodbye to everybody? All right, guys. Take care. Gold Chryslers. Yeah. <laughs> Dodge Plymouth. And that was sweet. That was well worth the trip and well worth the time spent waiting around. So I want to get this back to my house, load it up as fast as I can. See you, Mark. And then... Uh, We'll see what uh, you guys have to say about helping them out with the paint codes and uh, some of the emblem work and a few other things. The bright work looks pretty good, but um, there's a few things he wants to work on, and I think that uh, our group is just the group to help him out.